Hey YouTube, what's up? I have another project for you and this one is on how to build your very own remote controlled car which can be controlled with any remote. For this one I'm using my TV remote and it's pretty cool that I can control my TV and the car with the same remote. So for this project I'm using an Arduino to control the whole setup. Um, and I'm also using an L293 motor driver IC and a TSOP receiver to read the IR signals, right? So, if you're new to all this, you might want to ask a question that why am I not connecting the motors right to the L293 motor driver IC? Why am I complicating it, right? The answer to that is simple. I'm using this because I want to give a 9 volt signal to the motors. I want to power them up with 9 volts instead of 5 volts that the Arduino can provide. It'll go at a faster speed, right? So, as far as the chassis and the remaining parts are concerned, you can find everything on Amazon, eBay, all these things, all these websites. Um, you have a lot of colors and all, you can choose what you want. So, I'll be going through the programming part of it and the mechanics of it. And if you can't find the TSOP IC anywhere on the internet or you think it's too expensive, let me tell you that you can always salvage this component from any of the household appliances that use an IR remote, right? For example, I have this um, old DVD player. So I know that it's going to have a receiver somewhere here because it has a remote, as simple as that. And to confirm that, um, that it's going to have a receiver there, you can always put your phone in front of, you can always use your phone to detect these signals, right? You might be able to see some purple light coming out of it. That's the infrared light. These are invisible to the naked eye, but your smartphone camera can see it. So, it looks something like this. Um, maybe not exactly like this, because this has got some fancy silver coating on this. It looks something like a black IC with an uh, eruption in the middle. Okay? Let's have a quick look at the electronics bit of this. So here I have the TSOP1738 IC and I am using a 1738 and if you are salvaging this component from an, a device, you might want to google the data, the pinouts. So in my case, um, the leftmost pin happens to go to pin 11, that is the data pin. Um, and the rightmost is connected to the 5 volts and the one in the middle is the ground. So the way this whole setup works is that I am using two pins on the Arduino to control each motor, right? So, and you might be knowing that if you want to change the direction of a motor, you just need to change the polarity. So that's what we are doing. We are changing the highs and the lows in the program, which will make the motors go forward and backward, right? So pin 7 and pin 8 are connected to one input and they are controlling the left motors. Pin 10 and 12 are connected to the second input and are controlling the right motor and this whole setup is powered by the 9 volt battery. My L293D IC might not be, the driver might not be same as yours so you might want to google the pinouts for your um, driver. And I have these two pieces of wire here, one is here and one is here. Let me tell you that these are the enable pins of the driver and they work only when you have short when you short these two pins so you need to short them manually using a jumper wire or you can also solder them if you want so that's pretty much all of it it's quite a simple circuit uh, if you have any doubts you can always leave it in the comments and um, and you can find this you can find a jpeg image of this on my blog in the, in the description below so make sure you check it out and that's pretty much with the electronics bit let's go to the programming of it okay so now let's get into the programming of it the interesting part how to control the Arduino and you'll have to go to the Arduino software here let's open it there we are and you'll find a link in the description that will lead you to the download link for the IR remote library. You'll have to import it and of course you'll get it in a zip file which you'll have to 
unzip or whatever you call it and do add library I have it on the desktop here I add remote open I already have it so I won't need to do it now quickly go to the examples here and you find the IR remote here what you have to do is you have to upload the IR rec demo you have to connect it to the Arduino make sure you have your TSOP IC connected properly and upload it Okay, now that's uploaded, you have to open the CDN monitor and now you will have to press any of the uh, buttons on your remote that you want to use for controlling your robot. Um, okay, let me give you a, a view of the whole setup. Okay, so this is what the setup looks like if you have made the circuit correctly. It looks complex because I've not done it properly. Um, we have the TSOP IC here and I'm going to use this remote now whenever I press a button it's going to show the hexadecimal code right here and it will give you a different code for every button you press now you need to make sure that you're pointing your remote right at the receiver or else it might give different values so every time you press it you get a feedback there so what you want to do is you want to press those four buttons, uh, five buttons, one is the stop button and read the code there, write it down somewhere and write down the code somewhere and then use it for the program data. So just make sure like I have this code here E0, E006F9 for my forward button. So let me write it down somewhere and I'm going to use this value and replace it in the main code. So like I have this value here. I will be putting it in the main code right here. Right here. So this is the backward button. And you'll have to do this for everything. And make sure you have this 0x right here or else it won't work. 0x is to specify that the data type in front is a hexadecimal number. And once you're done with this, you can simply upload this code to the Arduino. it will work like a charm. Let's check it out here. Once you've done this, replacing all the values and doing all this and uploading it, you press any button, the ones that you've programmed it for, you'll see something happening over here.